So hello students, uh, I am your geology faculty Garma Bhardwaj. Today we are going to discuss the topic respiratory volume and capacities. Okay, so let's begin. So as we can see the respiratory volume are also called as the pulmonary volume since pulmonary refers to the lungs, right. So what is exactly respiratory volume and respiratory capacity? The volume of air that we take in or we can hold inside our lungs or we can expel out all the volumes are called as respiratory volume but if we add two or more than two respiratory volumes the value we will get is called as the respiratory capacity so what is respiratory volume it is the volume of air our lungs can hold or expel or inspire and the respiratory capacity is the sum of hai na, different two or more than two respiratory volumes. Okay. So, let us uh, read all the respiratory volumes step by step. There are four respiratory volumes mentioned in the NCRT. The first one is the tidal volume, the second one is the inspiratory reserve volume, the third one is the expiratory reserve volume and the last one is the residual volume. Right. So, let us begin with the tidal volume. Tidal volume is written in short form as TV, inspiratory reserve volume is written as IRV, expiratory reserve volume is written as ERV and residual volume is written as RV, right. So the main thing which we need to know in this particular topic is the actual meanings of like Hindi meanings of the terms, right. If we know the meanings then we can easily you know. Uh, check that what is specifically we have to study in this topic like tidal volume the tidal volume is the normal volume of air which we inhale or exhale during normal respiration like we are not forcing respiration we are not uh, inspiring forcefully or expiring forcefully right the next one uh, is our inspiratory reserve volume so reserve means the extra volume like uh, uh, if we talk about our vehicle then there is some petrol as well in the reserve that is the extra petrol right. So the inspiratory reserve volume is the extra volume of air which you can inspire during a forceful inspiration and this IRV does not include the TV because TV is the normal volume of air which you are expelling or inspiring. But if you are forcing your inspiration then the extra volume of air in addition to the TV is called as the inspiratory reserve volume. The next one is the expiratory reserve volume means the extra volume of air which you can expire out in addition to the tidal volume right by a forceful expiration yes and the last one is the residual volume. This volume is always gonna present inside your lungs like it is always going to residue in your lungs no matter how much force you are applying it will remain in your lungs. It will be a residue in your lungs which is called as the residual volume, right. So let us write uh, all the definitions of all the volumes. The first one is our tidal volume. So what is the tidal volume? It is the volume of air which is inspired or expired during normal respiration the volume of tidal volume the value of the tidal volume equals to the 500 milliliter per breath in one breath you are gonna inhale 500 milliliter or you're gonna exhale 500 milliliter of air so if uh, someone asks you that in a minute what will be the value of tidal volume so in a minute you know the respiratory rate is 12 to 16 times like you are gonna inhale 12 times or 16 times depending upon your metabolic rate if you are sitting normally right so the tidal volume in a minute will be hai na, 500 milliliter into 12 times hai na, to 500 milliliter into 16 times this will be the range of tidal volume in a minute it equals to 6000 milliliter to 8000 milliliters okay 
So this is a tidal volume in one breathe and this is a tidal volume in a minute. And both are mentioned in NCRT, so you have focus on the question that it is asking per breathe or per minute. Next volume is our inspiratory reserve volume. As I have already told you that the extra volume of air, inspired during forced respiration is called as called as IRV that is inspiratory reserve volume. The value of IRV you have to remember the value of IRV equals to 2500 milliliter to 3000 milliliter. And you are going to inhale this much value in addition to the 500 milliliter you already take in addition to the tidal volume. The next is your expiratory reserve volume ERV. It is the additional volume of air expired during forced expiration or forced respiration. And the value of ERV equals 1000 to 1100 milliliter. Now our next volume is the residual volume. So what is residual volume? The volume of air residue in lungs even after forced expiration no matter how hard you expire this volume is gonna stay inside your lungs it will be remaining in your lungs the value of residual volume equals to 1100 to 1200 milliliters our next topic will be the respiratory capacities so respiratory capacities in our NCRT are of five types, the inspiratory capacity, it equals the TV plus IRV. As you can just decode the term, capacity means the total capacity of your body to inhale, right? So inspiratory capacity is the total volume of air you are going to inhale during a forced inspiration. Similarly, you are going to inhale TV in your normal inspiration. And additionally, the extra volume will be IRV. So if we are going to add both of these, we are going to get inspiratory capacity. The next one is the expiratory capacity. Normally, we are expiring TV and extra or additionally, we will expire ERV. So if we add both of these, we get inspiratory, expiratory capacity. Third one is the functional residual capacity. This is the volume of air residing in our lungs during a normal expiration, not a forceful expiration because if we do forceful expiration, the volume residing in the lungs will be residual volume. But during normal expiration, the residual volume will be present, also ERV will be also present. So the ERV plus RV both give us the functional residual capacity. Next one is the vital capacity. It is a volume of air which you are going to inspire after a forced expiration like if you have expired ERV as well so when you inspire again you are going to inspire TV plus IRV plus ERV as well so if we are going to add all the these three TV plus IRV plus ERV then it will give us the vital capacity and if we have inhaled this vital capacity then the volume of air present in the lungs will be called as the total lung capacity that is equal to TV plus IRV plus ERV plus RV. Okay. And uh, functional means normally you are functioning, not you are doing forceful expiration. So normally you have expired, then the volume of air remaining in the lungs will be called as the functional residual capacity. So let us write each one quickly. 
the first one is the inspiratory capacity it is a total capacity to inspire that is tv plus irv similarly what is the expiratory capacity it is a total capacity to expire which equals to tv plus erv we are expiring tv normally and we will expire erv if we do forced expiration next one is the functional residual capacity it is a volume of air which is remaining in the lungs after normal expiration but if you have done forced expiration the volume of air remaining in your lungs will be only rv right so here we have not expelled erv so rv plus erv goes to the frc that is functional residual capacity the vital capacity as i have already told it is the vital capacity about your lungs that how much you can inspire so you are going to inspire tv plus irv plus erv as well right tv plus irv plus erv right it can also be told as that uh, how much volume of air you can expire after a forced inspiration so you have inspired irv as well so now you will expel irv as well so tv plus irv plus erv and the last one is your total lung capacity it is the total volume of air remaining in the lungs after maximum inspiration and what was the maximum inspiration it was a vital capacity so it equals to the tv plus irv plus erv plus r okay so i hope you guys uh, like the lecture and uh, you got something uh, new to know from this lecture theek okay? hai so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next lecture